Hey, what's going on YouTube? UA Reviews here, and today I've got a review video on the Under Armour Highlight Gloves. Okay, so a lot of you wanted my opinion on the Under Armour Highlight Gloves, and I knew I wasn't going to be able to get the review out uh, before football season started, but you know, since it's in full swing right now, and I've been able to test these gloves out, uh, I am ready to, to do my review on the Under Armour Highlight Gloves. So, uh, let's go ahead and get into it. So, we'll start off with the back of the glove here, and look at the back of the hand. Uh, throughout the thumb and index finger, you have um, a lot of ventilation through, and you can almost see through, and you'll be able to see once I put the gloves on, but there's just tiny little vent holes. It has a lot more than the Under Armour Nitro gloves, which kind of had the same kind of uh, ventilation feature. Uh, rollover grip on the index finger, kind of like always. Um, and then through here, all the little gray stripes, and then the gray stripe here on the about midway of the glove is reflective. So, you know, if you take a picture of the gloves, uh, and it, you kind of see in the first of the video how, you know, the the light, the camera light flashes off of these little gray silver stripes. So, you know, it's, it's just kind of a cool thing, I think. Uh, black UA logo. And one thing I'll say about the white gloves is I really think that these look the best, just being that... Uh, they really blended with the solid white, uh, you know. Being, I, I just really that was just that was just like the coolest one uh, as far as like the color goes. But uh, we'll really just get back to the review here. And then on the palm, uh, gloves grip. You know, we'll just go ahead and say. I mean, it's it's pretty sticking, pretty sticky. I've washed these gloves twice. Um, applied gloves used to them once, and I mean, grip just keeps coming back. They haven't had any real. Uh, problems or issues yet um, if you guys have been following along you guys know I had to return one of my pairs that I gotten from Dix and they sent this is the second pair that I've gotten um, so you guys know kinda how that went for me if you've been following along but uh, like the nitro gloves and I'll compare the nitro gloves in a separate video as far as my overall opinion but uh, they also have perforated uh, grip where you know you can uh, kind of feel a little breathability throughout your hand and I could actually feel it uh, kind of on a hot day I was out uh, throwing around and I could kind of feel the wind you know kind of in the air just kind of moving through the gloves not like a significant amount but enough to where I could tell you know the ventilation does help but really I mean it's not just it's not a big factor big thing with the highlight gloves is the wrist cuff um, it's probably you know the most unique football glove there is out there today there's nothing else now there's some football gloves you know that will have padding around the wrist but this one uh, does kind of bring it all together into one glove uh, being that it does have you know the padding so if you have had wrist injuries this wouldn't be like a, a thing that's gonna you know prevent or you know keep something from happening all it really is, is just padding uh, I would still consider these gloves a receiver glove if you guys have seen my football 101 video uh, I wouldn't consider this a hybrid glove because the back of the hand is still uh, like a receiver glove. But, you know, once you're getting back here to the wrist, I mean, that's just, you know, extra wrist protection, really. All it is just a real thin padding. It's made of Under Armour's uh, Comp Fit. Uh, fits really tight, kind of like compression. The only downside to this is there's no um, way to adjust it. So it's, and a lot of people have complained, it is hard to get on. I will admit that. I don't really have any issues getting them on and off. Uh, the gloves that I have are kind of used, uh, you know, I'm kind of used to taking them on and off. But um, that is kind of one disadvantage I see. And I actually thought I saw in a college football game where they actually had a newer version of the highlights where it looked like they had a strap down here, but maybe I was just seeing things, but <laughs> maybe someone can confirm that. Um, but that is kind of a disadvantage. I wish they would have put in some kind of, um, uh, you know, some kind of strap at least. I mean, you could put a strap kind of right here and it would still, you know, where the perforation of the glove is. I still feel like that would be where you would uh, put it. You've got your Noxy standard tag. Um, so I'll just uh, go ahead and put these on. And let me do it this way. Um, so it does take a little while to get them on. But, I mean, overall, um, what I really like is uh, now the the how the wrist strap fits or you know how the uh, wrist closure kind of fits on your wrist is going to be uh, d really depending on how thick your wrists are so I kind of have uh, thick wrists and you know these fit really tight on me so I mean they actually prevent 
uh, not necessarily prevent any type of movement, but I mean, uh, I'm still able to move my hands or my wrist very flexibly. It's just that extra padding. It, it really is a unique fit. I like the fit of the highlight gloves. Uh, you know, they, they fit tight. Um, you know, I kind of adjust that a little bit, and I just feel like I have these, I mean, they fit me perfectly. Uh, so, I mean, so if you have smaller wrists, that may be something that, you know, deters you away from getting these gloves because they'll feel really loose around there. It doesn't feel like, you know, it helps you in any way. Um, so the UA Nitro gloves might be, you know, a glove for you. Uh, I will talk more about that in a separate uh, comparison review. Uh, basically, which one I think is better um, overall. But, um, you know, they, they stick together real well. I'm not going to do a grip test. I think I'm not doing that stuff anymore. But, I mean, uh, I've showed you guys how to keep your gloves sticky. So, I mean, that's not going to be any issue. You know, taking them off, what I, what I feel like is the best way to take them off is you know kind of just start by um, unloosening all the fingers and then just kind of pull to the sides a little bit just kind of work your hand down you don't want to like pull it off hard or anything and maybe rip the glove that would be really unfortunate um, now I did get these gloves a little dirty um, I have washed them up really well uh, you know because I didn't want them to like stain dirty so I you know immediately after my little game I uh, I put them in the sink, cold water, and just scrubbed hand soap with them. That really got them out. I even used a uh, Tide stain pen, and that seemed to help a little bit. Because, you know, the white ones are going to be... It's different if you had, like, a black color glove, but with being white and how white gets dirty so easy, I mean, that's just kind of the uh, overall downside to the gloves. But, I mean, overall, I think the gloves, you know, are a great fit. I'm going to put both on here for you. Uh, they're they're originally priced uh, for fifty five dollars, um, so I mean that's I, I I mean that's just kind of an average price I guess for football gloves these days. I mean, um, you know I, I think like the Nike Vaporflies were sixty when they came out. So I mean this is Under Armour's top glove that come out for you know twenty thirteen. I think it's a good buy. Uh, like I said, it is kind of true to a receiver glove, not being a hybrid glove, but I mean. Um, you know, that's just kind of my thoughts on the, uh, UA, uh, highlight gloves. So that's my review. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Uh, if, if you don't follow me on Twitter and Instagram, you should go follow me. Uh, I post updates on my channel, uh, on through there and just kind of new stuff that's going on. So if you guys haven't checked that out, uh, be sure to follow me on there, Twitter and Instagram. So also be sure to subscribe, check out my other football related videos. And we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.